Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. I'm at the Grand Hyatt in Taipei. There is an Intel event and we are at the technology showcase. And as you all know, I mean, battery life, or let's say the lack of battery life with mobile devices is still a big issue. And we are standing over here with Christian Macchiorco from Intel. And he's going to show us a new technology that we're going to see in upcoming laptops and ultrabooks. Okay. Yep. Hi. So Krishna, could you please explain us a little bit about sure. the technology? So what we show you here is technology which helps save platform power, platform energy. Today the platform, for example, here is idle, but it's connected to a network, wireless network. And in a wireless environment, you receive a lot of broadcast packets. Most of these packets are non-directed broadcast sent to every node, right? But most of the time, you don't have to process this packet. So on the left side here, you see a legacy system, today's Ultrabook, where each broadcast packet wakes up the system, wakes up the CPU, turn on the memory, the chipset, and then the host uh, operating system, the OS, will say, hey, I don't need this packet, and will throw it away. On the right hand side, you see our Spring Meadow prototype, where the network device will filter out unwanted packet, right? So there is no wake of the system unless the packet is targeted for this specific system. And you can see here, you know, again on the left, the legacy system, on the right, the new prototype. You see that with new prototype, we have, you know, much less uh, uh, platform activity processing time and we create a period of inactivities, the, the black period here. During this period, the CPU and the platform go back to you know, uh, uh, a lower sleep state, right? save more energy. And you can see we save about 30% uh, energy on the platform. And it's also quite interesting to see that they are getting the same amount of TCP packets, uh, but you're filtering out all the UDP. Broadcast. Right. TCP, you know, directed packets, so yes. you have to process them, right? Of course. All the other ones are you know, broadcast packets, and they are being filtered out, right? So this is an idle case, right? Now, if you want, we go for an active case, right? So in this case, we transfer packets, you know, from the network, you know, from the cloud. We transfer video, we transfer file from the cloud, right? Again, you know, legacy system and, and the prototype system, Spring Meadow. And you can see here uh, on the screen. So what happened here, on the network device, we do coalesce the receive packet on the NIC itself. We create a burst, which we then ship to the CPU as a burst, you know, a large burst of packet. And it's, you know, a few milliseconds, six, eight, ten milliseconds. What happened, then the CPU processes them much more efficiently, right? Some type of, you know, race to halt. And you can see here, you know, 40 to 50 percent, uh, uh, you know, average CPU power with no uh, throughput, no performance impact. We make sure we maintain the throughput by doing some error detection on the network device. You know, overall, uh, you save a significant amount of power, right? So, which is good, you know, when you watch movie, YouTube, or you do some download from the, from the internet. I mean, in, in general, it, it looks like we, we can almost save a third of, yes. uh, of the, the battery life. We gain 30% more battery life with it. Yeah, we'll gain battery life, yeah. <laughs> then it depends upon your usage model, right? If you keep watching video, or, you know, if you don't watch video, maybe you don't gain as much, right? But if you're very active, uh, you can gain your significant uh, battery life. Which which leads me to the ultimate question, uh, Christian, uh, when I'm going to get this into my Ultrabook? No, I don't know. <laughs> From a lab point of view, it did transfer the technology to the product group, then it's up to them, you know, to uh, establish their, uh, their POR, right, and, and know when they're going to release it. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, fantastic. Well, at least we saw it already working, and this is something that you can expect in your future laptop or Ultrabook. Uh, well, thank you so much, Christian. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.